The external content types section within SharePoint Designer lets us define connections to our line of business data that we have access to as a developer or a designer or admin of the site. Now once the connection is defined through this mechanism, any business analyst can use that connection to, uh, from the browser to create what's called external lists. Now, external lists, it will show you the content of what the connection is attached to. For example, if you're attached to a table in a database, it will show you that table. And it will be uh, read and write access to that table, depending on security, of course. In this video, I'll show you how you can create a connection to a database table and then pull in that information in a SharePoint site directly. All right, so in the external content type section of SharePoint Designer, I'm going to go ahead and uh, click on new external content type to start making one. And here I can define the display name, the programmatic name and all. And down below I can define a connected system that I want to connect to to get information from. So I'll click on that. Currently there's already a connection to AdventureWorks and I'll just keep that there. But just to show you how you can make this connection, I'll go ahead and make one from scratch. Now it's going to be going to the same data source. So it'll also be going to the AdventureWorks database, which comes free from Microsoft as a sample database. But I'll name it something different. So I'll click on Add a Connection. I'll pick the connection type. I have four choices, .NET type, SQL Server, WCF, or Web Service. I'll choose SQL Server in my case. And of course, I have to give the actual name for the SQL Server. And here it is for me, Hiramani, sp.aw.com. Database name has to be exact, AdventureWorks. And the name I'm giving it is AA, just for the sake of it. Just for, so it's different than other one. Other one. Okay, so it is there now. I'm going to expand to see all the different tables which are available under this AdventureWorks database. And I'll go ahead and pick a table that I want to get information from. My table is going to be Sales Reason. Before I go ahead and uh, create operations on this table, what I'm also going to do just to make it easier for myself is go back a step to where I define the metadata for the external content type and change the display name and the programmatic name accordingly to the kind of data that I'll be receiving. So I'll type in sales reason for display name and sales reason for programmatic name. It's just going to be easy to refer to later. Then I'll come back to the other screen that I was at before. I'll go down once again, try to find the uh, sales reason table. Let's see if I can find it here. Here we go. I'll right click on it. And here's all different operations that I can do here. You know, I can create the uh, item, uh, create item operation, the read item operation, update item operation, all different operations that I can execute on this object, on this uh, external content type. What I'm going to do is tell it to make all of those actions because I'm going to be using all these actions later. So create all basic operations as the link that I'm going to choose. Here you go. My name is fine. Here are the uh, four different columns that I see in uh, in this table. It's already highlighted. Perfect. They're all selected. Now down, down below it tells me that uh, you need to pick one of these column, uh, one of these columns to appear in the picker control. The picker control is going to appear later when you make an external list, for example, using this data. You need to have one of these fields, uh, preferably, show up in the picker control so you can pick that field and the remaining data shows up. So I'll just go ahead and pick the first one, sales reason ID, which is my primary key anyway. And I'll click on finish. Here we go, it has generated all the operations for me. I'll save it. Once I save it, it should go ahead and push out this information, the external content type to my site, and also pushes it out to the business connection, business connectivity services. Now I'm going to show you in central administration, the uh, server administration part of it, that if I go to manage service applications, there's a uh, thing here called, well, it's going to be called business connectivity services when the product is uh, in release mode. Right now it's called business data catalog, but this is going to be changed once again to business connectivity services. Once I go into uh, BCS, it should show me once I get in there all the different entities. There we go. My sales reason is a new entity and the new, a new external content type that I've created. So it shows it there.
And I'll go as a business analyst, I'm going to go into a site, let's say human resources in my case. And uh, from the site actions, more creation options, there's a option that I have under custom, uh, under custom lists called external list. That's the one I'm going to choose. Once I choose that option, it lets me pick, first of all, of course, name, description, all that stuff, but also an entity type at the bottom. The name I'm going to choose is SR for this external list, and uh, here we go. I'm going to click on this icon at the bottom right, and it lets me pick the different entities that are out there. The one that I want is Sales Reason. Select that, and I'll go down and create it. So now it's going to make an external list that's going to show all the dynamic content, the live content from my table. And all, all the stuff that's been exposed to me as a business analyst is the information that's available here. I cannot just go ahead and directly make a connection, but I'm using a connection that's already been made for me by either a developer, designer, a administrator of a site, or, or so forth. Okay, so all this information that I'm seeing here, I can show you that it's uh, in the database. Clicking already on sales reasons, so all the information from that table is displayed right down below. Go back here to the browser, and what I'm going to do is make an edit to one of these records and see if it pushes it out. So I'll click on the edit item, and I'll change the sales reason ID 5, reason type from marketing, I'll change it to sales. I'll click on OK. Now watch carefully when I go back into SharePoint Designer uh, if it made this change or not. Sales reason ID 5 currently says manufacturer marketing and I'm going to go ahead and re-execute the query and here we go now it's been changed to sales.